So I'm gonna do a very quick anim trail tutorial. I'm not gonna be spending too much time on the material because you can even have like a very white square texture or whatever. It's all fine. I just made something real quick. So let's get going and make an anim trail. I uh, got my content browser here. Uh, particle systems. There we go. I'll just place the tests. New particle system anim trail two or whatever. There we go. And I'm going to grab my material, find it in the content browser, then plug it into the required. Then in the type data, I'm going to get an anim trail. There we go. You don't need to change anything most of the time. This is often fine. You can change it if you need to, though. Uh, I don't need initial velocity. Initial size is fine. The lifetime can be quite short. It doesn't really, uh, really matter, anyways, but I tend to put it around 0.4. Color over life, you don't really need that at the moment. Though you can change it, of course, to so change the color over life for the anim trail. I don't need it for this tutorial. You can play with that. All these things yourself, of course. So, okay, let's go to the animation. First, we need to go to the skeleton and create two new sockets. And they need to be on the hand that's actually doing the thing. And that's the right hand. So let's see, there's the right hand. I'm going to create a new socket. I'm going to call it SOC01. And I'm going to move it a little bit away from the hand. And I'm going to make another socket and call it SOC02. And this one I'm going to move further down the road. There we go. And that should be fine if you save it now. Then we can do that here. I'm going to remove this one, delete. And I'm going to save this real quick. I'm going to save that one real quick. And I'm going to get a new notify state for a trail. There we go. I'm going to make it as long as I want to. And then I need to find my particle system that has the animation trail in it. So I'm going to find it in the content browser. And then I'm going to plug it into here. I need to set two sockets, and we already had established that it was sock underscore 01, and the second one is sock underscore 02. And there we have it. You have an anim trail. Now, if you change the sockets in the skeletal mesh to somewhere else, let's, let's make it really short and save it again. As you can see, you now have a very thin trail. So you can have multiple trails in one attack, and that can give some nice results. Now, obviously, I want it a bit longer, so I'm going to make it even longer. Save it, back to the animation, and there you go. Now, if you change this, then you can basically tell when it's going to fade out. So, if I want to fade it out any sooner, you can get this. And if I want to start it a bit later, I can move this so you get a better sweeping effect. And that's basically all you need to know for anim trails. You can tweak the, uh, the whole trail, of course, inside Cascade, and you can add some additional effects in here. You can also add normal particle effects that move along the sword, add it to a socket, etc., etc. But that's not what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to show you this. And since I've already done that, I think this tutorial is done. I uh, hope you learned something, and take care. Luo's out.